these people up. Ten feet? Three hundred feet. I don't have feet. Ten feet to wrap their hands around the pole? At least a hundred feet. Alright. We're being reasonable here. You, you didn't bring an infinite number of rope? No, that's too many inventory slots. Wait, my board disappeared. Alright, I'm, I'm just using 10 feet of rope. So they're shittily bound. 10 feet of rope? That is shittily to you? Her... To wrap around a pole? Hmm. Ten feet's a lot. Inch thick yeah. Rope. Maybe it's, it's adequate. Really tie a knot. Boring, checking out our surroundings here. So how did you guys get here? As I far as I can tell, I fell. You just fell? How long have you been here? Uh, not too long. It seems to be only a couple hours or so. Last memory I have, douchebag with knife, cut my face. But he hit your shoulder. Yeah. What are you talking about? I had I had the same memory. Oh, we're talking about the blindfold thing. Yeah. You remember a man standing over you? Yeah, the knife to your chin. Yes. A brief memory. Yes, must be normal thing here. Very normal. I have what the same you, memory. Elf? Okay. Uh, what did I miss? We were just talking about how we got here. Oh, okay. Well, how did you guys get here? We all agree that we kind of just appeared here and had the same memory. Have you guys exchanged names yet? No. Make me a perception check, everybody. Wait, what? Where'd my window go? Oh, when I refreshed, it killed it. Okay. Pop out. Tim? Yeah, I was working on it. <laughs> Oof, not very perceptive. Tim, mm -hmm. real quick, um, can you click on the gear icon in your your sheet next to spells? Okay. Yeah. What? You guys didn't perceive anything. Hold on, Parks. Uh, under under that f the first top right one, where it says roll queries. Change that to advantage toggle. Oh, okay. No, I yeah, just select if I'm rolling normal. normal advantage or disadvantage. Yeah, that way you only roll one dice, for the most part. <clears throat> I'm going so, to. I could, I could do query. I probably prefer that. I'm going to take out my Tate and Wakizashi. So the Tate is the, sh the tower shield. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to move over to this door. And mm -hmm. I'll, I'll whisper to the people behind me that there may, there may yet be more of these fools. We should tread carefully. And I'll try and open this door. Uh, before you do that, how hurt are you? Uh, I'm fine. Not you. The, uh... The retarded Hodges, Russian. Is, 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 Hodges, <laughs> is Hodges a human? What is he? Yes. He's a human. Okay. Uh, I reach out to the other human and ask him how hurt he is. 
I'm okay. Very unlikely that I run into any issues going forward. <laughs> Keep in mind, you've never seen anybody in this world like Hodges' character. <laughs> okay. He's like pale and blonde. <laughs> okay. As you attempt to open the door, uh, you hear a sort of like a, a whimpering, like, oh god, oh god, behind it. Well, is the door unlocked? No, it is locked. Well, I, I communicate that it's locked. <laughs> oh. It's locked. <laughs> based, based, based on the whimpering, I'll, I'll attempt to, to talk to the person to see if they're friend or foe. Hey, what do you say? Um, are you I call friend out, or foe? Yeah, are you? Um, in Japanese, are you friend or foe? <laughs> wait, 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 real quick, real quick. Are we in combat still? No. no. You can move up to us. Um, <laughs> he says, no, no, you can't fool me. I ain't know all my crew out there dead on the ground. You think Captain Genjo is stupid? Oh, he's not. You won't fool me, you bandit scum. I pick boot up and slam door with boot. <laughs> <laughs> Athletics check. <laughs> okay. The door um, halfway caves in beneath your boot, and as your boot gets stuck on the other side, he screams, Oh, God, please, please, I'll, I'll give you anything. I, I'm very rich. Um, oh, please, please, just, just don't hurt me. Oh, God. Time for round two. <laughs> you, you break <laughs> open the door, and now he sees this massive, uh, hulking, blonde man before him, and he sees sort of wetness leap underneath his robe. And sort of stain the wooden floorboards below him. He speaks and doesn't know what to do. Hey, can you open the door much then? Of a threat. I am Vlad the Slave Smishing the Cough. Who are you? Yeah, one second. Let me open these doors. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, no. Pizza grease. <laughs> Let me find a, a hey. token for this guy. Yeah, hang on, fam. I was eating some uh, some uh, Popeyes. It's a fried chicken. Yeah, some fried chicken coated in Cheeto dust. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> this is what you see before you. How would you like to go about the situation? So we're not in combat at all? I think we, we have should two unconscious all... bandits behind you. We should all move in. I will all... repeat myself. Who are you? <laughs> I'll tell you anything. I already told you. I'm Captain Gendron. I, I own this vessel. Please, I'll move into the... Don't me. I move up and I slap him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, so there, what I just, just to do it? <laughs> yeah. You just slap him like, oh, please don't kill me. I outburst. There's no reason for that. And I try to, uh, I'll, can I roll persuasion? And yeah. ask him, um, um, what happened to his ship? Yeah. Um, what do you why want to ask? Bandit? Why? Why are there bandits on your ship? Wait, was the door locked from the inside or the outside? I'm guessing the inside, right? Uh, it was locked from the inside. Yes. The game hates me. Um, he looks at you. Make me a persuasion check, by the way. Uh, I just did. Um, I'm feeling kind of lucky though right now. Well, hold so. On. Did you make that before I tell you the outcome? Yeah, I have to know. I have to do it before the outcome is determined. Mm. Okay. So, uh, feeling kind of lucky, and uh, we're gonna re-roll that or roll another. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Geez. He looks at you. He says, "Oh God, finally a face that I can trust." 
I'll tell you what you want to know, but you have to promise your big brute of a friend here doesn't kill me. I don't think I can do that. <sighs> well, um, y you see, it, it all happened last night. We we were at we were attacked. Oh, an another ship pulled up, and these these degenerates, these lowlifes, they hopped onto my ship. Oh my God! They started killing everybody. Uh, make me an insight check. Yeah, I was gonna say, Parks. So exactly how are we doing insight? Make it to me. Roll directly to me. Okay. Okay. Because I spec pretty heavily in insight, so it's gonna come up a lot. Actually, you can all insight check if you want. <clears throat> Nobody else. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It seems lagged. Okay. okay. Yeah, mine was delayed. Um, it was taken. Vladislav and Kaizen. You can tell that this guy's lying to you. His eyes are sort of like shifting to the side. He, he seems like he doesn't want to tell you something. A crucial detail here. Is this entire thing joke to you? <laughs> joke. I, I, I slap you once more. Up. Oh no, please, please. <laughs> You're making an intimidation check. <laughs> He's just, I can take the pain. <laughs> um, yeah, you slap him. And uh, now his nose is kind of bleeding. He's like, oh, God. You say you're not bandits, but you seem just as bad as them. What do you want from me? I'm just a poor captain. Uh, he, he's, he's next to a bed, right? Yeah, he's on the bed. I'll like, I'll just shove him into the bed. Well, not like that se sexually. <laughs> Slowly, <laughs> yeah. as he runs his hand up his chest. Hyper sexually. No, I'll just shove. It's not like a hard shove or anything. Just like I, I basically just. He's clearly oh, like trembling. I just push him over on. Onto it's like the a bed. playful. Okay. Shot. Yeah, you push, push, you push him onto the bed. Okay. He's on, he's on the bed. It's not Are a playful. Gonna... It's just like he's. Are you asserting you know, your dominance now? <laughs> <laughs> Now I pull out my massive cock. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll let somebody else. Does anybody else want to have a question? This guy ask him something. I tried my intimidation angle. I don't know yes. if I got that far. So can you like com continually question somebody using persuasion? <clears throat> uh, well, you already you got him to talk and calm down. It's just that he seems to be sort of withholding information from you. All right, I, I kick the uh, the ch wooden chest next to me. What's in the box? He looks at that and he says, uh, the, the, the box, uh, <laughs> which box? The one I fucking kicked. <laughs> well, as you can see, there's two boxes over there. And they're both quite mundane, nothing to see. <laughs> Just, you know, comings and goings, uh, uh, my, oh, I'm embarrassed to say it, but this actually isn't my room. It would be wrong of me as a captain of the ship and a, an upstanding honorable man to go through one of my, my, uh, my crewmates, uh, belongings, you know? <laughs> to roll an inside check, like the... Yeah, he's lying. That. I mean, like, okay, actually, oh. I mean, like this... This clearly isn't the captain's quarters. You probably were in the captain's quarters before where you landed. Uh, but he's locked himself into this room, uh, which appears to be like sort of like, um, I don't know, second in command or something. But you can do an investigation check of the room if you want to sort of discern like what kind of a person would have lived here or something. Wait, just real quick, this meta knowledge. Does anyone really have any other non-combat charisma uh, advantages anywhere? I do. Okay. But um, it, it's actually, a one because, for long rest, uh, plus five. Because you found out he was fine, you can try to persuade him once more if you want. All right. Okay. Hey, Parks. Hmm. I noticed something move in the hall. Oh, don't worry about that. Okay. That was my fault. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty weird. <laughs> that's, not, that's not in the game. I, I just moved it there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to try to persuade him again. Um, so, I don't want to hurt you. They may, but I don't want to hurt you, so please, just give us information 
what right, is going on here? Roll the persuasion check. I, I attempt to open the box <laughs> while they're doing this. Oh my god, fuck me. Are you, do you want to do it stealthily or non-stealthily? Stealthily. Non -stealthily that was... Okay, make me a slight of hand check. He looks at you, Alan, and he says, You come into my ship? I don't even know how you got here. You, you could be one of those bandits that we picked up earlier. I, I don't even know anymore. Like, what is it that you want from me? What are, are you people? Um, okay, you made a slight of hand check. And he says, and you, get, get your hands off of that. That's, that's private property. And I have my rights infringed upon by some, some low-life elf. What a terrible roll. <laughs> You can use lucky if you want. A nat, nat one? Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you now all hear sort of like gurgling and like sort of moaning coming from the hallway. <clears throat> the hallway or the where they're tied up? Yeah, from about right here. I stumble over to this beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they, they seem to kind of be coming too. Hey, can you drag their tokens, like, a little bit closer to the pole? Are they tied up on the pole? Yeah, yeah. they're tied up on the pole. Okay. I say back, it seems like these two are waking up. Get in a position to, to interrogate them. Oh, that is weird the way it does it with alt. I'm not sure. What right. so, what you you can turn it off. I, I peer around the door frame and say to the captain, <clears throat> This is me being nice. If we wanted to kill you, we would have already done it. And I am growing quite literally sick of your ship. It's time for you to start being straight with us. Uh, make me an intimidation check. Uh, he says, oh, oh, okay then, uh, right, uh, straight with you. Uh, well, well, what is it you want to know, um, Mr. Very Nice and definitely not going to kill me, Orc? You said you picked up these bandits, but first uh, you said that they attacked you. I, I said that, did I? Oh, that's strange. Oh, uh, he lets out a long sigh. I didn't want to admit it, but uh, I've been having some trouble lately keeping my crew. Uh, they keep disappearing, and well, uh, we had to pick up some layabouts at one of the port towns we stopped at recently, and I don't know, they seem the hard-working type, you know, get the job done, uh, stupid enough to do what I told them to do, but oh, tonight, I don't know, something changed. Oh, and that woman, she showed up out of nowhere, I tell you. Magic. This is all tied to him. I know it. Oh, God. Uh, and he's uh, saying, uh, here, and he tosses a key to you. Uh, he says, it opens the box behind you. Um, listen, I took on board my ship not too long ago at the request of a local lord, one of his amyotos, uh, a sort of a, you know, arcane mage, if you will. You've probably heard of the type. Well, we've been doing what you might call less than legal transporting of goods. Uh, it's it's gotten bad, though, and yeah, I, I don't know what he does. He just asks for the mutinous sailors, and I go along with it. I don't ask too many questions. In this box is your contraband? What? Oh, no, I, I don't know where he keeps the stuff. I try to stay out of it as much as possible. Uh, I merely let him have the room to himself to practice whatever sick dealings he does and whatnot. I, I try not to get involved. I only do this because the pay's good, okay? So it may be valuable. Uh, would you like to open it? Yes. Okay. Um, he tosses you the key, and within the two boxes, uh, in the wardrobe, you find two potions of lesser healing. Wait, where'd he Six go? 
He just what? disappeared. Where'd he go? He's under He's under Hodges. Oh, meh. Vladislav. No. I don't know how to address people. So, in this wardrobe, you find two potions of lesser healing, 14 gold pieces, and 8 silver pieces. And a scroll of Featherfall. Mm, I recognize these runes. In the chest, you find uh, some sort of yellow looking dust that is almost like salt when you like go up and run it between your fingers. It's, it's crystalline. And uh, among the salt like dust and whatnot, you also find uh, a journal, which I will. Can you guys see that? Uh, no. Uh, where are you putting it? Here, if you guys go to this page, the about config, and then type... In... Do we do what? App.roll20.net? Hmm? About config? No, 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 no. Just do about config as a new tab. It'll... It's, it opens your, um... <clears throat> okay. At least if you're on Firefox. It'll open I your, just uh... just the button that said show to players. Proceed with caution. Yeah, and then oh. search for menu access key focuses. I mean, and then to toggle great. that from true to false, and then once you do that, anytime you touch the alt key, it's not gonna like fuck your shit. Okay. <clears throat> Is he Firefox? I use Firefox, yeah. UI oh, menu also, access yeah. key. <clears throat> Mine says a uh, key dot menu access key focuses, and that's set to true okay, by default. So and then and so on the right side, there's a toggle for toggle false. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. So yeah, this journal's not popping up. There's a, there's a some sort of journal. Go to the go to the journal section. And it should be popped up in there. Not seeing Is it. it. You talking about oh. our second tab for players? Yeah. Their character sheet. Not seeing it. Hold on. How about now? Now okay. I see it. Yep, just popped up. Wow, it's tiny. There we go. Oh, you can click. You can make it. Zoom in, yeah. There's two two pages. Is this in common? Yeah, it is in common. Okay. You read this. Well, common board. is Japanese. Would some Would somebody like to read it out loud? I'll I'll pick it up and open, and just begin at the exposition. Oshikami knows why the captain took on these. Wait, you're on the wrong one. You're on journal okay. two. Okay. Sixty-two fall. The captain has brought me more samples from uh, somewhere. My years of study as an onmudo at the academy in Zanyu's court have not prepared me to encounter anything like this. Further analysis will be required. Hopefully the shipment is more than a couple of specimens this time. Hmm, Captain. This is strange, is it not? Oh, it's just, it's just those contraband goods we were talking about earlier. We have a, I suppose what you might call a supplier. Strictly, I, I would only do this if... I was at the behest of a lord, which I am, to bring this to him, and that is what I'm doing. And in my eyes, this is perfectly legal in that sense. Yep, this is definitely not a bad thing. This is it important research. It unsettles me told. to think of myself as a specimen. You? Oh, I <laughs> know. No, we. Were, I think he's simply referring to the crystals. We we don't trade in human lives. That's simply immoral. Ah, the crystals. And I fetch from my little box that I keep a lot of different types of stones in a small yellow crystal, and I hold it out like this. Ah, and I'm no geologist, but yes, I would say that it looks to be the variety we pick up. Mm -hmm. 
I try not to look too much into the things we carry up on this ship, I'm sure you understand. I say, interesting. Let me see that. And I and I reach for, for the crystal in the orc's hand. Mm-hmm. I this looks it, just like mine. Closed this. One second. And I pull out my crystal. Very similar in light glow. Oh yeah, Parks, for my backstory, do I still have those crystals? Yeah. I, I, how did, or, he never mentioned the color to me, okay. so I don't know. Yeah, well, mine was red, I think, wasn't it? They're all the same color? They're yellow. Okay, okay. yeah. Like uh, or- orange yellow, red. So, yeah. so I, I hold out my, my crystal to show everyone. I, I do the same. I touch mine in my, in my bag. <laughs> in my pants. It's not, it's not in your loin cloth. <laughs> <laughs> so it keeps everything. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I didn't realize I had quite the aspiring group of rock collectors on board. S- sorry, stupid joke. Do you think you are a funny man now? <laughs> what, me? No, 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 of course not. <laughs> Listen, I have one request. We tell us how to get to land right now. Oh, you see, I'm actually quite adept at sailing. I am the captain, after all. But as you can see, I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. Um, if I could, maybe get back to my post. We could resolve this issue. But uh, th- there is one problem. Yes. Uh, Wait, did he give him the key for both of these? chests or just the, the wardrobe yeah you guys got two potions of light or lesser healing uh the gold and silver and then a scroll of feather fall that's from this chest as well not just the wardrobe that's both both of those things together oh uh, okay so we all get that uh, each or we have to decide how to share it now well you decide how to share it or pal has I'll all of it and out the uh the all stuff the... as i'm going through it and i'll give it all right let's potion. finish this let's finish this journal first right yeah okay well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna read it to myself. Instead of speaking aloud as I'm reading it, okay. and then just uh, if say anyone, the highlights. I could be looking over my shoulder. Well, let me know when you've all read it, and we can. Uh, you guys can decide what you would like. Is it journal two, page two? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you said earlier we confirmed this guy was not the captain, or he was the captain. He says he's the captain. And we know these are not the captain's quarters that we're in. Yeah, you see, he said this is not his room. He simply went in here when um, the attack happened. Did you hear those voices? What voice? Well, it seems rational that there are more than four men on this ship. I guess that would uh, make... The captain actually chants and says, oh, that is the issue I was going to extend upon, um, expand upon. Uh, there are others. God I knows the I'm journal the... before we're done reading it. Yeah. My crew is... I, I, I'm afraid to say it. I did everything I could to save them. 
but uh, I, I believe they'll also be dead. Can I do a non-lethal strike on uh, this guy? Yeah, you want to knock him out? Yeah. <laughs> you should just do it. How do you do it? Something about the way you talk <laughs> makes it sound like Bren Eisen. You just chop him in the neck. <laughs> uh, chop him? Wait, no. That seems like a terrible... Now, I'll use the... Uh, the what it would be called the butt of my, I meant chop them uh, with your hand right <laughs> oh. can, uh, pinch. <laughs> yeah sure I'll, I'll karate chop him in the neck okay. he's in like Russia or Asia dude he says what are you doing <laughs> and he just passes out and slumps onto the floor next to the bed so I suspect this is not the captain and this is the uh, evil whatever dude that that wrote the journal I suspect this was his room I've never been on a ship before. Uh, one of you can make an arcana check to see if uh, maybe on his person or the way he presents himself that he would maybe be an Anmyodo. Okay. I'll, I'll do a check. One check for the whole group? or Sure, oh. one person. Sure, I should ask. Who thinks? But this game hates me. Nice roll, Psych. Uh, you're not quite sure. The captain has the spare, so... Hey, whenever you guys do these checks, by the way, send me the result, all right? Don't do it, do it in a... Don't doing... do it until, like, common. Public, I mean. Well, yeah, public. Uh, okay. Uh, the two people outside tied up are now coming, too, and they look at you. What's going on? Uh, uh, oh, God, no, please. Oh. I thought the guy was unconscious. Oh. They just woke up. Oh, those two. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, we have money. Back at our base, please. Just, just, just let us go. We, we're just doing a job, man. Hello, my name is Vyadislav Sveshnikov. <laughs> what is yours? Uh, my, my name is Kuma. Kuma, to, is today a good day for you to die? What? No. No, it, it's not. <laughs> and please, I, I've got a wife and kid. We need to know where we are and who you are working for. What do you mean, where, where we are? We're on a ship at sea, in the, in the Strait of Serpents, just the same as you. How, how, how did you get on the ship if you don't know where you are? You'll get one more try. No, oh, God. <laughs> they, yeah, the guy looks at her and says, Shut up. Just tell him what he wants to know. Yeah, it's just, uh, okay. Um, we, we work for our boss. Um, we, uh, what you might call drifters. We we just take odds and odd jobs here and there. And uh, he, he told us to go up to the next town and wait for port until a ship arrived. We were to board that ship. And when we saw the lady in red, that's when we knew when our signal was to take over. Lady in red? Yeah, oh, the, the freaky blood chick upstairs. Is Truth, she upstairs? Be told, Truth be told, she is the one who killed all these people. Not us. I, I realize how that could have been confusing when you entered, but uh, you know, you didn't have to kill our friends like that, all right? We're just in this for the gold. And so I asked these two, is this man your captain? Point, gesturing towards the room where the unconscious dude is laying in the bed. Oh, yeah, old Genji over there? Yeah, he's a... He's a real sort of a wet towel, if you might call him that, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, he's the captain, all right. Uh, truth be told, we're not much of sailors, to be honest with you. <clears throat> we got the other sailors drunk and left them at the Lextown over. The real sailors, I should say. And that's the truth of it. I, honest, I hand, hand to Oshikami over my heart. <laughs> Now, no, please, sir, just c can you just let us let us go, please? I will consider it if you'll help us defeat the evil lady in red. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, well, uh, you see, I, I don't think you understand. She, she really is a, a bit scary. You haven't seen what what she does to people, you know. What have you seen her done? To well, it's just that we have this friend, right? This friend, Junji. And uh, he, he was up on the mast, you know, and... Oh, God. When uh, she gave the signal, 
she said he was just disposable to her and I, I mean she you ever have that uh like your mom ever make that sort of a like a fruit jam out of raspberries from the forest oh god <laughs> sweet jesus the other guy kind of throws up in his mouth a little bit <laughs> he says, I, I don't want to know where she learned these things but I'm telling you, she's freaky, all right? If the boss would have told us that job was going to be like this, we wouldn't have done it. Uh, I'd like to do an insight check to see if they're being honest here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> do it to me. Uh, yeah, they seem to, be tell they, they seem to be telling you the truth. Okay. All right. Like, uh, they, they, seem, they seem like the guys who just want to get paid, basically. <laughs> okay. Um... Holy man, I changed mine. Please heal me up to my full capability. <laughs> we have battle to fight on top of shift. Okay. I will do so if you do not kill these men. Hey, can you guys change your uh, colors in the bottom left of the interface so that it matches the uh, the token border? Hail. Uh, click the little color next to your name. Oh. I'm call it now because... uh, Hodges and Powell's color is like the same for the yeah, border. Brown or black. Yeah, Powell's is black, oh, Ryan's is like a dark maroon. I'll do like an orangish. Yeah, I feel like I feel like um he should have a very distinct color. Or uh parks. Can someone please what? remove these cards? Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know how. <laughs> no. Uh, Ryan just trapped these cards. Get fucked. <laughs> Alright, so Parks, at the bottom left, you've got next to your name, like a little green box. Click I, that. and I don't... Like, my stuff's all fucked up, actually. Wait, there we go. I'll get on the floor here, on my two knees while sitting on my feet, and uh, I'll say, if we must go into battle... It is customary to know each other's names in my clan. I am Aryama Kyoga of the Tiger Clan. I go by Zuruin the, the, the two bandits are like, uh, I, are, you, are you talking to us? Yeah, I don't remember if I said my name yes. earlier. This is addressed to everyone. Uh, yeah. So the, the guys on the pole say, um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm Kumo, and and this is Aki, uh, Aki of uh, the um, the the Fly Clan. Yeah. Fly Clan. Fly Clan. <laughs> oh yeah. I've never heard of that. Oh yeah, in the West we're um, yeah we're real we're real popular. You, you, yeah. There's only the Moth Clan to the West. Oh no, you're, that's to the east. You see, you're thinking of the moth clan. No, we're the fly clan. I I, way, way, I suspect more, they're uh... they're lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's oh, no fly clan. Well. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to sound important, right? <laughs> well, I think I'll, we all I'm know what we're the elf. I'm trying to get everyone's. Okay, well, do you want them or not? Or title or name or whatever. Uh, yeah, we're still doing names. Okay, Aki and Kumo are the two. All right, I'll just nod at them. I kind of think they're idiots, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know who this blonde man is by now. He keeps yelling his name. <laughs> what uh, is love? My name is uh, Yoshioko Takihiko. Huh? Yoshioko He's like, right, right. I caught all that. What I didn't catch, though, was... Uh, What's up with the six foot five, uh, yellow haired? Uh, I don't know. Are you a man? What are you? <clears throat> Directed at Vladislav. You you make things challenging to even be in your presence. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I I'm I'm ready to to move upstairs to find out. Our, our fate. I don't know the name of the elf. What? I said my name elf. way earlier. Elf, what is your name? Zurui Tora. Okay, we have all made our introductions. 
Do you okay. come from a noble clan? Yes, noble in, indeed. I I come from the Umador steppes. Very high pr prestigious value, I'm sure. Wait, can we use the that same rope and tie up the cabin? Because I don't like this fuck. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, we'll release them and... <laughs> so you tie we'll, him to the bed? We'll essentially oh, no. tie him to the bed. Like, arms and legs <laughs> sprawled out. <laughs> you tie the captain, spread eagle to the bed. <laughs> okay. We go back in. <laughs> um, I'll I'll use lay on hands on, okay. on Hodges. Um, I do have to know how much health I can heal him, right? Cause... You can heal him up to his max HP. Um, how just how much HP do you have currently? 18. I think you can just so ask. He's Katic. 11. He's down 11? Yeah. Jesus Christ, they can only heal him 5. I can't really heal him 5. Oof. Wait, uh, you can heal him more than 5. You have lay on hands. Oh, it's, sorry, I'm, you're right. I'm level 3 now. That's my bad. Oh, wait, how do we distribute the gold and the health 15, potions and 15. stuff? Yeah, I will. I will fully heal him using eleven points of play on hand. Thank you. Uh, what pound? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Kumo <laughs> kind of looks at you and he's like, "Hey, man." Um, scratches his neck. Uh, can, can I get some of that healing? Who said this? Uh, <laughs> Save your the resources. The bandit you tied up. <laughs> These yes. flies are not worth their salt. Can I actually? Take he says, uh, and where I come from, that's actually a compliment, because the Fly Clan is actually very prestigious, I'll have you know. Uh, what do I need what to is... roll to kick him? <laughs> no. In the shins. Right. Kick, kick him in the shins. I'm actually going to change my name. I keep forgetting everyone's names. I know. A lot of <laughs> Um... Uh, is there anything you would like to do on this oh, floor flashy. at this point? Um... I'm just like meta. I'm ready to, I'm ready to see what's going on on top. Can I do a medicine check on the guy that asked for health to see if he even needs anything? He's I don't remember a little bit low on health, but let's just move on. How about that? Okay. All right. I'm gonna grab a beer real quick. Can we change our display name just in this game? Because yours still says Quasar. Um, I this is saying changed. Ariyama. <laughs> By the way, I'll give a healing potion to the elf and to the old man. Potion? Yeah, I was doing that while rifling through the belongings, just oh, it's a pulling stuff out and kind of handing it. It's a lesson healer potion, but yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever they are. Um, it was um. Okay. Lesser healing. Are you guys using your last name or your first name? It's a Japanese backwards. <laughs> I'm using my, so yeah, Japanese uh, Ariyama is the family name. Hey, why why the screen go black? Did they go black for you guys? He's probably changing the map or something. You gotta you gotta put your um, characters back in. I'm in the water. I can't get out of the water. Oh, oh in a bottle of rum. <laughs> Help! I'm in the water. <laughs> Uh, I know I just did this, but I, I completely forgot how to drag or whatever. The journal. Second tab. You oh, drag right. Drag your character name. Which side are we going? Okay. Yeah, just drag to the middle. Okay. So, yep. You come up the stairs. And... The side is having some serious trouble. What? Wait. <laughs> That's a lot of blood! <laughs> sure. Yeah, there's Start some blood already. <laughs> there we go. All right, you have your two buddies with you. And as you guys cross the stairs, uh, this bandit right here sort of looks at you. He says, he unsheathes his sword. He looks at you and says, ah, stand back. Look, what have you done to Kumo Hanaki? And uh, Kumo says, it's all right, man. Uh, they're actually here to help. And he, he's sort of like, he says, what, what kind of uh, foul magic have they put on you? Were you with that wizard? What attempted that? What? All right. 
<laughs> He's directing at you. He says, are you guys with that wizard? We no, were whisked not. here but five minutes ago. Well, right. I've been here an hour longer, but... So who is the bastard? Hopefully his gut split across the floor at this point. We don't know the wizard. Have you seen him? <laughs> uh, make me a intelligence roll. <laughs> yeah, girls can't be wizards, by the way. Just bow. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to... So just straight intelligence? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pal. <laughs> Vladislav crushed him upon landing in the room. Oh. I, I realize <laughs> that? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you I infer, now remember you infer, a, a robe of some sort. You infer that the magic circle that you saw is painted out in blood around you. It was probably because of the wizard. Can we open this door again? Yeah. Oh, so this is the room that we had already been in, right? Or no? No, this is different. Oh, if we gone up a deck. Yes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know what to make of that. Um, <clears throat> I suspect the wizard is dead. Where is the lady in red, though? Oh, you mean the freaky bitch? We came down here because we were scared of her. Still up on the deck? Um, yeah, she's she's up on the top corner. How many floors does this ship have? There's only one more. It's up there. It's the, uh, you know, whatever they call that. I'm not much of a sailor myself. Just pretending to be one, as you can see. I hate the damn thing. What a boat. <laughs> you've never you've never been on a boat. <laughs> no. He looks I've over never seen one. Truth to be told. I'm gonna try to open this while they're distracted. <laughs> this guy's never seen a boat. <laughs> he says, oh, are, you, are you for real? Like, what an idiot. I'm gonna shizzle my dog. I'm gonna try to open this. Uh, at this point, you now see two other bandit guys come out. They seem, you know, pretty cool with you, but they seem apprehensive to go to the top deck. Uh, would you guys like to take time to investigate this level of the deck for anything? I'm, I'm trying to open yeah. this. All right, uh, it's kind of like a crate, so you have to break it open. You have a crowbar, though, because you have a thief's kit. You break it open, you realize it's just kind of like food stuff, like rice and whatnot. In fact, as you search the whole area, you find out that most of it, this is kind of just like where people sleep and there's food stuff and whatnot. Five men, have we more? Uh, this is all. The rest are dead, thrown overboard, or turned into pudding. <laughs> What's with the bar over Tim's token? It's a uh, health he, bar. He gave himself an, an, an health bar. So you've hidden here from the red lady. Can we hide the health bar? Yeah. I can. I can. And you can. You can see that they kind of like barred the stairs with like you know stuff. Then to be like, clear, oh. our goal here is to regain control of this ship. I uh, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, our goal was to make money, but. It appears as though this bitch doesn't really share the same ideals that we do as we once thought. She's just uh, some kind of like a, to... and right. some kind of freaky cult. I don't know. <clears throat> well, if you'd like to keep your lives, never mind your money, then you should join us. Um, make me a persuasion check. With advantage, because we have a buddy with you. All right. They look and they say. I, yeah, I suppose, um, I suppose that's the least we could do. But, uh, don't think you're getting a cut of the shares, all right? I will personally be grateful to escape alive. Ah, uh, well, then I think we've all come to an agreement. Great. <coughs> uh, uh, you first, though. <laughs> he points in the direction of the stairs. I insist Wait, which you direction? go first. I, I see a lot of stairs. So which direction do you There's, point? Uh, sure, these two over here. Just for whatever. Explore the rooms. Looking for supplies or useful equipment before we make our, our rush. Yeah, you find um, you find rice. But you find like food and water, alcohol. Um, if you make make me an investigation check, actually, did somebody make me an investigation okay. check yet? Uh, I'll do that. I haven't. Are we all just gonna kind of? Go for it. Okay. We're all doing it. Yeah. 
Sure. All right, you guys got enough that uh, you find four gold pieces kind of in the floorboards and stuff around the place. Each or total? Just four gold pieces total. Found them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Need a notepad it's, to keep track of all this it's shit. It's important that Tim is poor. All right. Uh, yeah, I never rolled for gold, actually. I have to take a piss real quick. But... Yeah, just... Hold on. Let me oh, my screen went black again. Is that everyone's? Yeah, right, you, we'll need just, to, we'll you need to. We'll come up with a plan while you're pissing. Yeah, you need to re add your character. Wait, where the fuck did the music go? Did you say 14 gold in the wardrobe? Yeah, there was. No, four. I'm keeping notes four. as well. In no, the you wardrobe, said... it was 14 oh, okay. gold pieces and 8 silver pieces. I'm gonna roll a d4 to see my starting gold. Oh, you can see everything up here. Um. I don't know where we're coming up. We'll... Um, I, just, I think we'll be coming up probably over here. But you guys are still in the in the board. Yeah, you have to move. You have to move okay, your character. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to be there though. <laughs> yeah, we're just like up in the fucking top top already. Jesus. Oh, we're weak. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't want to really see. You you will see everything. It's all lit up. It's all I was torched. gonna just say I don't know how ships work. If anyone would like to come up with a plan. Well, I guess you could tell from looking up the stairs that they go to the top. Yeah, you can tell there's like daylight coming down the stairs. Well, I was about to try to intimidate them to go first, but we can do that here actually. I would suggest we move in at least two groups on each side. Bad practice to funnel through a choke point. Agree. I mean, if we can get these guys... She can, daughter. Yeah, um... That'd be pretty useful. Otherwise, I don't know if they're doing anything. If they come in, like, after us. Um, well, they're rogues, so they do have the first attacks, other than maybe me. Not very honorable. I will go first on my side. Um, okay, where's the fourth guy? We're waiting Our on fourth party member. Pa Powell needs to come in. Okay, sorry. Oh, wait, did the bandits come up with this? Yeah, I'm about to add him in. Over here, pal, somewhere. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to stomp down my, uh, Naganati and, uh, and tell them that I insist they, they go out and lead us directly to the Red Lady. Uh, <laughs> one of them looks says, oh, we can't hear you, man. It's too loud. The storm. Um, as he screams this, the, the lady uh, in question turns around uh you are not here yet you're over by the stairs um the lady in question right here turns around her blood-stained robes are just sort of open uh and you know and her like hair is like wet and like mixed in with blood and rainwater her eyes are crazy as she looks towards you with a snarl on her face and uh, she says how did you get here let me guess it was that filthy wizard. <laughs> Not so stupid after all, I suppose. <laughs> no matter, though, you will make fine additions to my collection. Um, and you see beside her right here... <clears throat> well, actually, before you even see these two things, she grabs hold one of the, the bandits, apparently, and says, You look pretty disposable. <laughs> and she grabs him by the head, and he's begging for his life, as you just sort of see, like, arcing energy swirl around her arm and enter his nostrils, ears, eyes, and mouth, and it just starts pulling the blood out from within him uh, as a sort of gelatinous intestine ooze of blood and viscera just appears and sort of has its own sort of body uh, over here, whereas the uh, remaining flesh is sort of forms this sort of flesh golem-like construct next to her. Uh, she says, <sighs> I suppose uh, you should introduce you to your new friends. 
um, yeah, and uh, we can roll initiative. Okay. All right, so wait, was um, that one of these bandits, or was it a, a no. random sixth bandit that was up here? No, it was a sixth bandit over here. Uh, he, before like, we he roll... creates all the blood from his body and creates a flesh construct and a blood. Before we roll initiative, can we get into formation? We have to go up these stairs. A little more of a logical one. Okay, sure. Okay, actually over here is the hatch where you came up. We'll say that. Okay. Whatever. I not. Uh, so you guys position yourselves on this side of the ship. Where do you want to be? Yeah. I want to be the be first to come down on this side. Have my armor active, and I'm wielding the tower shield in my wakizashi. Hey, hey, what's the error you want to send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no There's valid. a barrel right here. I, I got the same thing. All right. We're, <laughs> we're coordinated into two files, I think. What do you mean? Um, <clears throat> two, two groups. Wait, we're going to go left and, and or top yeah. and bottom. So. They go, both of these go down to the same level. I assume that we're up by the wheel. The wheel is right in the now. middle where we were. Yep, and so the staircase goes down to that subfloor, and then the next one in front of us would go... Oh yeah, the wheel's right in front of us, I see it now. Yeah. And then the, the main deck would be where the lady is. But she can talk to us because this is... We have line of sight here. Is that a horse? Um, can I do a perception check to tell if I just heard a horse neighing in the storm? <laughs> You did not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't roll yet. <laughs> it must have been the wind. <laughs> oh, right. You didn't roll. Give me a perception check. Yeah, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> um, okay. So. I'm trying to push this bandit out ahead of me. Wait, where are you? He's, uh, he's one of the more lively ones. That... <laughs> Pow Powell's, like, under a bandit. I'm on yeah. top. Oh, from my perspective, I'm on top of him. Yeah. From my perspective, the if you just hold Alt, you can like just move like, just barely, not quite inside him. <clears throat> yeah, much better. Are you guys in your preferred position? Yeah, I think so. Actually, my new friends, you should keep going forward. I am more dangerous than the Red Lady is. Tim, Tim are you honorable? You're gonna go in front of these people? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Everybody give me your initiative. What the hell? Okay. I did. Uh, I, I have an error. I'm still missing one. No, it's it's Powell. We're way down. Yeah. I I did mine to to GM. Again. Dirty dick GM is typing. Uh, I am. No valid token was selected. Did it work? Did you see that? If yeah, you all of us the... are getting that right now. Did Here's it... the. Okay. Initiative order. So there's Zerui. It's your turn. Okay. And the, the fuck you just call me? Last. The bandits are going last. Tim, could yeah. you change your name to your character name? I did. I'd have to refresh or something. Okay. I, I think I did. Oh, I can change it here. Ah. The gear. Yeah. yeah. I did it on my actual profile. Do you have a, a ranged weapon that can shoot that far? Yeah, I'm an archer. Or throw. Base shooty, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go first? Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. I don't <clears throat> think I want to move forward. No, I don't I don't have range that can reach that far. I only have a 10 foot range. You guys get 90 seconds on your turn, so work, work it out quickly. I'll just like move here, so there's still room for them to move past me. Easily. If you do have movement, one thing you could do is ready an action to attack when someone is in range. So then you would basically unleash your attack and benefit from sneak. Okay. Also, just so we're clear, these are masts that go up to sails, obviously. Mm -hmm. These stairs go five feet down. So... Which, which stairs? Ones. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then these ones go up. Haven't you ever right. been on a ship? Wait, wait, couldn't I... Couldn't I climb this mast? Is this one, one yeah. of the ones that's easily climbable? None of them are. It's storming. But you can oh. try to climb it. You're a thief. 
but in World of Warcraft, I can run up on the mast and kind of get out here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try and climb? I up mean, the in one piece, I saw Luffy literally <laughs> okay. turn into bubblegum. All right, look. All right, you want to try and climb? No, I'm, I'm, I'm already here. Uh, that would have been cool, I thought. Yeah, whatever. What do I do? Uh, yeah, I thought it was so too, but you know. It's raining, it's... So you're gonna die. <laughs> you're well, gonna a thief. That's what he does. He climbs. <clears throat> well, how's, how <laughs> stormy is it? All right, how... I, I would thief. recommend he it. Climbed, sliced a rope, and then swung like Tarzan and kicked them. <laughs> Meta? I don't know. Before, before, before I decide, how stormy is it? With second story work? It's, it's, yeah. quite, it's quite stormy. <laughs> like, good chance of dying if I go up in a weird fucking mess. You, you, you can you'll set get, up a... Yeah. You'll get cool points, though. You, you, you can set up a sneak attack. Yeah, fuck that. I'm just gonna go here. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just... Lightning strikes as soon as you think about it. It is stormy, though, so you can 60, get masked 12. in a while. Did you hear me, Tim? No, what? Because of the storm, though, you can try to activate your Mask of the Wild ability. Wild ability? What the fuck is that? Mask of the wild. Oh, oh. To hide, right? Yeah, he can hide in like plain sight, basically. Yeah, just hide, hide right there and prepare yeah. an attack for a yeah. sneak attack. How do I? Can I? You can I click that? If somebody, cool. if somebody goes past you, you can try to. Yeah, I will. I will hide in this location. Okay, and you're gonna ready an attack for when? Like, under what condition are you gonna attack? Um, if anyone that's not in our party, or the bandits that are with us, comes near me. Okay. Um, after your turn, Oops. it is a bad bitch's turn over here. Um, she is going to sort of like jump up and stand on like the, the mast or this, uh, this railing here. She lets out a cackle, um, and she... What is she gonna do? She's gonna do something cool. <laughs> so she is within my range now. Bottom. Is she? Yeah. It is five feet up too. How does that work with range? No, no down. She's not. She's not five feet up. I, she is though. She's on the no, railing. No, no, because just down. It's an additional five feet up. No, she's that's what I'm yeah, he, she's five feet vertical, along with the extra distance. To, yeah. Towards, uh, yeah, you can't hit her from pixel, there. She's one centimeter out Wait, of range. what? Uh, Tim, she's going to try and uh, make a perception check against you, though. She looks at you and says, I see you! <laughs> um, and she's going to unleash a torrent of a... Uh, on each of her fingers, these students are sort of like... Dancing red lights of like blood match just pull at her fingertips and then start out towards you. Um, you are going to take. Hold on. You're telling me she's actually not in my range. Like I can reach. Yes. I, she, like I can reach all the way to here, ten feet away, and that's not in my. This is ten feet right here. She's she's vertical. She's five feet up as well. That She's makes it 15. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, yes. Uh, she is going to hit you, though, Tim. Okay. Oh, she wait. is going to do six, uh, six force damage to you as you get pelted by two bullets of blood magic. Is it four damage? Six. Six. Sorry. 64. Nice. 64 damage. <laughs> One shot. Uh, and then she says, Come, finish the job for me. <laughs> and she calls upon her minions. Five, ten. You ready to get your chance, Tim? Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I attacked this weird so, fucked up see, thing. You see this like slithering monstrosity of just sort of like excess bones and skin sort of slurping towards you. Its tongue just kind of like dangles out its mouth, and one of its eyes is sunken out of like a socket as it's just sort of like crawling along the ground, sort of like a slug. What would you like to do to it? Um, attack that nasty shit with my sneak attack, because it doesn't see me, right? Um, it does not see. No, it does see you because you got hit. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so not a sneak attack. 
Did I just roll Kasari Gamma? Uh huh. That took a while. <clears throat> you hit him? That hit? Okay. And then. So you slash down into his body, uh, but you see that it's kind of actually difficult to get any sort of purchase on this thing. And uh, what appeared to be would have been a normally like a really good blow doesn't seem to do nearly as much damage as you would have expected it to. But you do sort of slice along its fat and skin. Mm hmm. Um, after that, it is the, this guy, oh boy. Is that construct not able to attack after that short movement? All right, he does get an attack, doesn't he? Good call. Great. <laughs> um, Look, I'm just playing the game, okay? Okay, uh, hold on. He is going to not hit you. <laughs> he tries to slam sort of just like a, Watch bag God. at you, but he misses. Yeah, you see his cock actually swinging towards your face. Nice. You duck out of the way. <laughs> Fucking Japan. Uh, the gelatinous looking ooze of blood and just sort of viscera slithers in your direction. Um, actually, it can't make it that far. It goes right here. And from this distance, It does nothing. It just nice. sits here and it sort of like... <laughs> okay. It is now um, Yoshioka's turn. Alright. So I'm gonna join the elf. And I'm gonna move up here. And I will slash it with my katana. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> Ooh, you actually don't hit it. You try to slash at it, but it sort of <laughs> slurps away at the last second. As uh, your katana <laughs> hits into the wet wood of the staircase. <clears throat> Anything else you would like to do? Um... I'm good. Okay. After that, it is Vlad. When do the bandits go? After, After everybody. I thought they were rogues and they had better initiative than most of us. They're pussy uh, cunts. They're bandits. <laughs> they're not rogues. I hey, think you said rogue yeah. earlier. I thought I heard you say rogue. They're scared this time, so they're slower. <laughs> Yeah, they just saw their friend get turned into jelly and skin. Hey, how viable is it for me to do this? Uh, make an athletics check to leap off of it, yeah. Over that barrel, off of it. You can't pick up the ship that you're standing on and throw it. <laughs> Why not? It so, doesn't... It's not level 20 yet. One, two, three, <laughs> oh, the athletics... Yeah. Right no. now? Mm -hmm. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, you, oh, you made it. You leap onto the ground. Off the top rail! John Cena! <laughs> so that's four. You have uh, two more. Remember, diagonal still counts as the same as... <clears throat> Act that fleshy thingy. Five. Uh, so there's actually barrels in front of you in that direction, Ryan. Yeah, move forward one and then diagonal. Can I do you that? Make it yeah. Okay, and then I'll activate, um, I'll activate Rage now. Okay, can you <gasps> activate... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you were gonna do a noise of sound. Uh-huh, and then I'll, uh, I'll strike at, uh, this, this guy right here. Okay, go for it. Are you call that a guy? <laughs> <laughs> My guy is... Yeah. You... What do you think, Ryan? Do you think you hit him? I don't know. <laughs> you hit him. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, how do you roll damage? Click the uh, in chat. Yeah, in chat, click Naginata 10 foot. Click 
inflict Naganata 10. Oh, okay. And it's plus 2 on damage, so. It'll say. It'll do it. It should be. It calculates it. No, no, no. It's, it's, from, it's from Rage. Oh. You slice it, and you see part of its gelatinous form just go, like, flying off into the ocean. Uh, you see sort of, like, a lower jaw, like, just sort of rise out of the bubbling blood. And, uh, you see just sort of, like, a tongue <laughs> flapping. You, you did mark it as 12, right? Yes. Okay, it's gonna be happening a lot, as a rage. But I, I don't want to confuse myself by- Just saying. add a second thing. You can add yeah. a damage- like, there's, there's damage one, damage two. So just uncheck damage one and make damage two, like a plus two damage or something. Nah. Fine. Here you go. I feel like you could make things easier. Yeah, I would probably get confused. Fine. At, at some point. Well, I'll just turns over. Right? So we said. Yes. Okay, now this thing here, you get advantage against it. I don't know if it even matters the way we're laid out, but. It will. Powell is up. Mm. Okay. Uh, I charge forward. And with my Wakizashi in hand, I. Uh. Mm. With this big ass orc, is wielding a Wakizashi? I have I have a Wakizashi. <clears throat> so the Wakizashi becomes sheathed in a sort of a electrical effect and. I attempt to slice into the creature. Okay, uh, make your attack roll. Yep. Uh, you call upon a storm's energy and you hear a... as a like, sort of swirling a thunderous energy coats your blade as you plunge it deep into the... Uh, what you might call an abdomen if there was one of this uh, blob-like creature. Um, you see it sort of puff up a bit. Uh, how much damage are you going to do? Eight slashing. Uh, it's, it's quite a quite a decent amount there. Yeah. Parks, do you have that uh, the new Discord noise suppression thing enabled? And I shout, Sunda! Yeah, why? It, it keeps cutting your voice out sometimes. You should probably turn it off. It, it doesn't work very well yet. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's just occasionally it'll like suppress you. Okay, so after... I suppose our attacks are made with advantage. I'll try and keep that in mind next time. Okay, and then the bandits are gonna take their turn. So this guy jumps over the railing. Uh oh. And he sort of goes here. This guy jumps over the railing and he goes here. Nice. Defend the woman. Ten. The woman with the most tell. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know that. Um, you Protect see these me! Two bandits. You see these two bandits, which were not the ones you originally talked to, kind of look at you and they look, Oh look, we're still in your side! We, we, we swear! We swear! And they go and they try to attack you, Tim. Wow, rude. One of them hits you uh, with a, oh, sort of just a, a knife through the back. Wait, but I'm facing that way. How's that? Th oh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you take six piercing damage as he sort of stabs into your abdomen. Uh, the other one says, what are you guys doing? These guys over here seem more faithful to your cause. Uh, and uh, one of them goes... And he tries to throw a knife at this blood ooze. Wait, so does the guy miss Tim? One of them hit. Wait, he hit Tim? Yep. Two of them attacked me, one of them missed, one of them hit. I took six uh, damage. A knife gets plunged deep into this blood what? ooze. What? It seems like our attacks were effective against the blood ooze, right? <clears throat> uh, yes, except for, except for your attack. The slash. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this guy is over here, and he seems to sort of like be untying a knot over here. Hmm. Upon okay. which point, this guy. Okay. Uh, this chick, she stands up and she says, 
How do you like this? <laughs> and she uh, reaches her hands. And you just see sort of a uh, burning flames come in a cone uh, out from her fingertips directly at you guys. Let's see. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Just Hodges? Everybody in that cone. <clears throat> Wait, I, I didn't get to do that so... when these two bandits like rushed me? We don't see a cone. Man. So me... That's gonna be already on the left. You want private? What? No, you can make that one not private. Just the skills. Yeah, it's sometimes we get to toggle it. Yeah, it's Dex. So I have an advantage, so 19. Okay, and I need Ariyama to do it. I sent it. Are we gonna do it public for saving throws? Okay. <laughs> Would you like me to repeat? Uh, well, I'll let you decide right now. Do you want to keep the one that you got or not? Yeah, I do. Okay. You both pass. Means you take half damage from it, right? Yes. You each take eight fire damage as a cone of searing flames comes out from her fingertips uh, and incinerates Kumo and Aki alive. Rest no. in peace, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> The two bandits for your cause. Um, the flesh construct sees its new prey in uh, Kaizen over here, and it begins to make an its attack against Shu. It lifts up its pseudopod of an arm and attempts to attack you, missing, however, as it's still getting used to its Disgusting new form. The blood ooze similarly will make an attack against you, Ariyama. Okay. Ooh, this one critically seems to wrap around your neck and force you, slamming you against the staircase at your feet. This is going to do... So you said... I kind of need to know the exact roll, because I have shield as a spell. It's a literal 20 on the die. Okay. Can you, you make a crit miss with shield? No, crits always hit. Okay. That's the only exception. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, you're going to take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Holy. Got him. Knocked out. Um, he slams your head against the staircase below you and slithers over your body trying to suck you up. Uh, before you phase out into unconsciousness, you feel your blood oh, sort sorry. of coag... I'm not knocked out. I don't know why I'm being retarded. Oh, relent you have relentless, right? Relentless endurance, yeah. Make me a constitution check. Okay, you pass. But... You feel your blood within your uh, sort of body start to coagulate as this thing uh, sort of almost seeps into your pores. Uh, you kind of shake off the feeling, though, but it's not a good one. All right. Um, okay. Down to one. After that, it is... Uh... Whose turn is it? Um, Yoshioka. Alan. What? what? Did What's Tim right? go? Tim didn't go. It's true. Tim, no, why don't you ever say that to your turn? I'm having trouble keeping up, man. <laughs> it's your turn. turn. <laughs> okay. Um, well, fuck these two fuckheads that are trying to kill me. Um, hmm. I'll take a step back and attack. I would provoke an attack of opportunity from both the flesh guy and possibly the bandit if he wants to. Like, as I'm facing them, I'm just taking a small a step back. You can take disengage. You can yep. use your you bonus have, action you to, to disengage. disengage. Okay, then never leaving mind. Us, leaving, I'm just letting leaving, you know. Leaving okay. the melee range of a character that's a, a hostile to you would constitute an attack of opportunity. Hmm, okay. Um, I will attack... But you can use your bonus action to disengage as a rogue. 
And then you will take no opportunity attacks. I don't think moving was that important anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll attack this one. Okay. With your sickle. The Kasari Gamma. <clears throat> um, you go to slice at him, but in the stormy uh, night, it's kind of hard to gain purchase in your target and you miss. Oh, so you, can, you don't have to roll those rolls, um, private, sorry. Okay. Uh, but yes, you missed your attack. <laughs> um, so I will now use my bonus action to disengage. Okay, where would you like to go? You have 30 feet, 35 feet. How much movement do these guys have? Do I know that? I guess a uh, lot, huh? They, they, they move pretty damn too. far, yeah. Next to the witch, clearly. Yeah, that's where you want to disengage. I'll, just, I'll just move back here, some farther from the witch bitch. Okay. Um, after your turn, it's their turn, which they just went, so it's your turn now. Uh, Yashioka. Yep. Um... Wait, who, who went out of order, though? What did I miss? I, I keep on you. forgetting that you're going first, because you keep on not saying, hey, it's my turn. I know, but who accidentally went before me? Me. The Constructs and the Witch. I thought went they were going you. first. They seem to. Oh, no, that's um, right. Well, he's the fastest. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm going to... I thought they were all just going at the end, not, not at the beginning. I'm going to attack the the construct again with okay. my katana. Go for it. That's oh, a crit. That's a crit. Um, you can actually probably kill this thing. So let's see how much damage you do. So it's two d ten, and then whatever your normal modifiers are. So shouldn't I just click on this twice and just take both damages? Try so, it nope. once. No, I, th I, I think it'll do roll. the crit. No, because you don't, you don't add your strength modifier twice, and you don't add your... Um, I, I know, you but I think... I think it calculates crit. correctly. We should just see. <coughs> yeah. yeah. It actually... It didn't do it right. It didn't. It's 19 damage, though. Wait, well, Which, hold on. 1d8. No, no, no. Um, it depends it's, if you it's have the it second set up one. correctly as well. It, it's the second one. Because I'm dual... Or I'm two-handing it. So it's the three plus six. That's the D10 roll. Okay. I crit. I, 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 I got a one for my roll. Didn't calculate the crit. Wait, so how much damage are you doing? So... Click the katana the... again, and it'll probably roll no, it no, again. No, it did. It did, yeah. I'm sorry. It was a one plus a six. Is what he did for his two D10. And then it added a plus two for his strength mod once. So it did it correctly. Oh, it didn't. So it's nine, nine damage. Nine damage. Okay, you do not kill it actually, but you do cleave into it pretty well and cut off a sizable chunk of it. I'm gonna use smart. Um, it is now Vlad, your turn. Hooges. Yes. Your turn. Sure, sure go. Sorry, I was f jerking off in the corner. <laughs> I will... How, how easily can I attack Witch here? Um, if you walk up to, like, right here, yeah, you can hit her. You have Naginata, so... Although she does have some cover. Will this affect your ability to defend? <laughs> yeah. She's got a wall in front of her. She's half covered. You'll have a minus two to your attack. Okay, I will... <clears throat> I will slash at a uh, strange blood beast. <laughs> okay, go for it. You hit. All right, how do you want to kill it? I will... Stab into fleshy, strange blood basket of of flesh <laughs> material. 
Okay. And, and you, step wave it. you step into it, and you just lift it over your head and launch it off the into the ocean. And then I will move like like this over Bati. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. And uh, move. Well, actually. Probably want to be next to her. They probably do or probably don't. Probably do. <clears throat> yeah, I would assume so. <clears throat> I will I don't move. Know exactly where she is either. I'll move right behind her. <clears throat> okay. Um, after your turn, it is Ariyama's turn. So you. You said that she is behind half cover at where she is right now? <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Um. Hey Ryan, can you move that far? No, I can't. He's yeah, can. approximately he's approximately No he can't. He's approximately right here. Yes I can. Here will be that far. Yeah. I'm gonna look up and mumble. Oh. You damn Three. bitch. Four, and five, I'm going. Six. Does this uh, banner, it what would you call it, like handrail in front of me, look like it's? Oh wait, Ryan totally, actually can't go this far. <laughs> is it totally open, sort of hollow garbage? This. Yeah, or is it kind of a nice handrail? Eh, it's pretty nice. I'm contemplating throwing my shield there. Would it fly off the deck? Or the uh, ship to list is what I'm trying to get a sense of. Yeah, probably. Oh. Um. Does your shield slow you down or something? It does. Well. That sounds gay. That this giant shield would fly through the. Wait, I, I'm, I guess I'm confused what you're asking. I'm, I'm gonna try and throw my shield on the ground. I just don't want it to go flying overboard if uh, the rocking gets too intense. Are you talking about throw your shield? Yeah. Just on the ground. No, I'm just gonna oh. put it down so it's completely free. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty nice hand, hold it, hand railing over here. Okay, so my, it would probably be fine if I just slid yeah. it there. All right. Um, I'm gonna do that. Can you draw the um, shield on the table? Like, where, where where did you want it? Like, over here? Oh, I don't know. It's like... I was gonna throw it up here. Okay. There's his shield. Okay. Um, and my wakizashi I'm gonna throw into the shield as well. Okay. And I'll draw my kanabo. And then I'm going to... Run around the side here. Where? Okay. Sorry, I didn't do it all incrementally. And then my wife or my Kanabo will again become sheathed in a lightning like energy. I'm going to spend two sorcery points for Quicken Spell and do this as a bonus action, <clears throat> casting Booming Blade. Okay. Um. So I should have advantage here, since Ryan's right next to her. So I'm going to make an attack. <clears throat> yep, you hit. Hey, just being near Ryan six. gives you uh, advantage? Yeah, he's yeah, raging, he's... correct. Yeah, you do six bludgeoning damage? Um, yeah, six bludgeoning and five piercing. Oh shit! Wow. Uh, yeah, you do. You slam it directly into her abdomen, and she gets pushed back against the pole behind her. <clears throat> she spits out blood, um, and she gets it in her hands, and she says, ah, "It's making me waste my precious blood." I'm gonna do another attack because that one was pretty lightning fast. Well, how you had to draw your kanabo and throw your stuff to the ground, right? So. Throwing it to the ground should just be free. 
and then drawing it should be part of an attack action. Okay, sure. And so I'm going to do the same thing. Just another lightning fast booming blade. Does that 12 hit? Wait, isn't the the quicken spell just quicken the spell? It doesn't actually... Is booming blade an actual attack? Uh, booming blade's a cantrip with a cast time of one action. So quicken spell makes it a bonus action. And then the only type of cantrip, or the only type of spell that you can cast twice is a cantrip. Right. I guess what I'm confused about is part of the casting cost for Booming Blade to make an attack. Yeah. That's like the cost. You basically have to be within range to make an attack. However, the range of the spell is five yards or five feet. Okay, sure. My second question is your Kanabo here. It says it does a D10, right? No, it's um 1d6 bludgeoning and 1d6 piercing. And... Hold on. Uh, and what's your modifier for this? Plus two. Which is only applied to the bludgeoning. So it could only do, at most, 14 damage then. Right? I, yes. If they so both why does this? Too. So why does this say twelve and ten? Oh, those are my rolls. Those, that's another my, attack. For my roll. second attack. Oh, okay then. Uh, you miss the second attack. Okay, twelve misses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you do hit her pretty hard with the first one. All right. You crush a few ribs for sure. Um. Okay. After your turn, this bandit over here, he loosens the rope and down drops sort of like the uh, the dinghy on the boat, you know? And he sort of leaps overboard into the dinghy. He escapes. <laughs> he says, ah, see you later, guys! <laughs> um, you see these two sort of like look around like, ah, oh, shit. This one starts running as well for it and leaps overboard. <laughs> this one also tries to leap. Do you try to hit him? Uh, Yoshiyama. I'll let him go. Alright, they leap into the water below. <laughs> After that, it's your turn. Zuruya. 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 Zurui. Zurui. Jesus Christ. Zurui. Zurui. Tora. Zurui Tora. Okay. Um, Is there a D in there? An R. Um, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah. Alright, so I will move... Zip, zip, zorp. You would get attacked doing that. No, 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 you can't, and you can't typically move through enemies anyway. Unless well, you cost extra movement. Okay, so how does this work? <clears throat> you would get attacked right here, because he gets an opportunity attack once you leave his range. Unless I use the bonus action to disengage again? Can you just do that infinitely? I don't know how ropes work. I don't know. Yeah, it's part of their cunning action. Everyone gets one bonus action per turn, so he can do more things with his bonus action. Normally, people would have to take an action to disengage or dash or whatever. He can do it as a bonus action. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm gonna do that. I mean, you could probably just leap up. Anyways. If you have enough movement. Oh, like up onto the railing or something? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Make me like a that, Would that even just... I don't know. To GM or public? Uh, GM. Public's fine. What? You said all skill checks. GM. Well, only ones where, like, the other person on the other end of it would have an advantage of knowing whether or not you passed. If he failed this acrobatics check, he would just fall. It doesn't have to be a private thing. Okay, 19. You land on the thing quite nimbly. Okay, and I attack this ugly bitch with the... Uh, okay. Actually, wait. It. Well, actually, can I be closer? Can I be there? 
I, that's technically within my range. <clears throat> You're gonna sickle her? Yeah, I wanna sickle, not chain. Does more damage, okay. potentially. You hit? Roll with advantage next That's true. You may as well roll with advantage to see if you crit. Okay, I will re-roll the attack as well, or just do damage? Just, just re-roll the attack. attack. And then regardless, take the 11. So, yeah, the first one. <laughs> would uh... be a crit. So his actual roll would be 21 and 27. And he did that crit. Is a crit? Yeah. yeah, when it's green, it's a crit. Yep. And you also get a sneak attack. Jesus. Which crits, so you should probably get exploded. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> not always. The 12. How much damage are you doing altogether? I have no 12. idea, man. 12. 12. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I was almost at 12 up here if I just hadn't re-rolled at all. So you plunge your sickle deep into her chest. She lets out... <gasps> As she coughs up blood, and in her dying breath, she looks up at all of you, and she rips out the sickle from her chest, and she stabs it into her jugular, and uses her own blood to sort of paint, like, a, a symbol in the air. You see this blood spraying all over all three of you, as it magically washes over your senses. Everybody make a dexterity saving throw. I'll look at GM. Uh... You can do it, not pu or public sign. Thirty saving throw. <laughs> We're going on the left okay. side, so right? So Zeruni passes, but as the uh, the blood mist sprays over all of you, it feels like a thousand needles, like a uh, sort of pricking into your skin, deep into your flesh. You take eleven piercing damage if you didn't pass. And six, if you did pass, oh. as she collapses dead onto I the ground. I into unconsciousness on the deck. <laughs> um, the flesh I, comes from. Curiosity, though, how do you both have an advantage? They don't. It was they're just mistake. taking the push. Okay, I actually had an advantage. Not that I mattered. Uh, are you still up, Vlad? Yes. Okay, so Ariyama falls to the ground unconscious, and Zerli is still up as well, right? The flesh construct sort of ceases to function as this happens, um, as its master has been killed. And as this is all happening, make me a perception check. All of us are just uh... everybody. That's not the unconscious. unconscious orc. <laughs> no, that's not unconscious. Is uh, that's not with advantage? No. no. Fuck. The fact, toggle is wrong. It's probably with disadvantage if you don't have dark vision. I do have dark vision though. Okay. All right, everybody except for Zeruli is oblivious. This is really, as you sort of are huffing and puffing, trying to like, uh, you know, overcome your senses and wipe the blood out of your eyes from this crazy bitch who killed herself in front of you. You look directly in front of you and you see that the ship is careening directly into a massive jagged rock. Nice, okay. What do you do with this information that you see before you? It was um, bef mere moments uh, before the ship directly crashes into this section. <clears throat> like mere moments, so I wouldn't have time to turn the ship at all? You could make me a, um acrobatics check to get over there quickly. Uh, I'm already uh, like next to it. Mm. He'd have to He's drop down. Oh, right, never mind. It is right there. Uh, <laughs> um, make me a... I don't know. How hard is it to steer a ship wheel? Pretty hard, right? No. no. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it they, they have... Make, it sounds a lot of movement, but yeah, the actual to physical... To cut the wheel takes a lot of turning, but it's not that hard. We'll yeah. do a sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand, okay. You can spin it fast enough. Oh, unfortunately, it's not enough. As you're frantically trying to turn the wheel to avoid imminent disaster, the ship <laughs> crashes uh, directly into 
the rock. You all sort of fade into unconsciousness as you fall into the dark waves below. Um, you know, salt water choking down your throat. Those of you unconscious probably, you know, not even aware of what's even going on. Uh, but at some undetermined amount of time later, uh, you will wake on a beach. Uh, let's take a five minute break. 